Completely. So, yeah. Um, uh, but it's worth waiting for it because this pl presentation is very visual and the guys that are going to present it is also kind of a, like a, a star presenter, right? He was uh, supporting all hackathons in the UK and in Germany. And are we up with it? Survivor. He he's the survivor. Show start. So hi everybody, I'm Georgi, co-founder of Imaga, a platform that enables businesses to understand images. In the last three years, with digital cameras and mobile phones has been taken more photos than for the whole previous history of photography. And even on a single daily basis, people take about two billion photos, most of them to be forgotten in about 30 minutes. Now I'll ask every one of you for a favor. Please close your eyes for a few seconds. Okay? So think for a moment what it is to be blind for a day or just for an hour. Do you feel like insecure or uncomfortable? Or at least that you might be missing something? Okay, now we can open, thank you. So, businesses, the way how you feel is how businesses feel about user-generated image content. So the problem that we tackle is that individuals, but also businesses, have no convenient way to understand, organize, and tag photos. So they miss a lot of opportunities and resources that way. And this is the kind of blindness that we have a mission to, to solve. So how we do this? We have a combination of APIs intended for business users that allow them to organize, understand, and tag images. They can be used either separately or in combination. And as a result, the businesses save a lot of time and resources that would otherwise be spent for manual curation of images. Also, our business customers can offer to their end customers much better user experience. And maybe most importantly, we enable a lot of monetization opportunities via images that are not feasible or not even possible if people have to do this work manually. So currently we have about 10 monthly active paying customers of this, and the average revenue per customer is about $500 a month. Actually, most of those customers are coming, most of those customers are coming from the US or the UK, and we're quite proud that actually some of them have switched from using internal data teams or Amazon Mechanical Turk to use our service. How we attract customers? Besides the inbound traffic on our website and some direct referrals from happy customers, we also have a few channel partnerships with image processing platforms that offer our solutions and APIs as part of their products. Also, we increase the visibility of what we do by, by participating of multiple hackathons for images and content around the globe. I would like to stress a little bit more about our new auto-categorization API and what it does. Imagine that you have a fashion website, fashion inspiration website, where people can upload images. But you have no way to know what's on the image and people don't provide such kind of information. However, with our API, we can assign a category or a tag to the image based on its actual image content. Out of the box, we have a few more categorizers. For example, for personal photos, for stock photography, for types of painting and art, and for fabric and carpet patterns. But a really unique and powerful opportunity that we offer is that our system is so flexible that a customer, either alone or with our help, can train their own classifier. So in this example, a customer has trained different types of paintings and art by sending samples to our self-learning system. We are currently conducting tests with about 20 customers, most of them from the US, who use our new training and categorization API. Some of the, of the logos are here on the slide, and maybe the most notable is WeHearted, which is the new cool and trendy social network in the US with about 30 million active users on a monthly basis. We are currently looking for 1.2 million smart money Series A funding to expand the team, almost double the team, expand product development and speed it up, and also be more aggressive in marketing and sales. We'd be very happy to find an investor that has experience investing in software as a service companies or has a strong network 
in photo sharing, social media, online fashion and retail, where most of our potential customers are. And last but not least, I would like to mention a few words about our team. <coughs> it's quite round, well rounded up because we have people with experience in technology, research, software development, but also in creative design and social media marketing. And my favorite quote is that the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are actually the one who does. Well, the guys you saw on the previous slide are that crazy. Thank you. <laughs>